Get on the ground, get on the ground. Oh, shit! Damn, he pulled a gun on me. Pit. Oh, crap. Oh, jeez. Let's just tap this guy right there. Get in the car. Get in the car. Okay. Uh, thank you, Bulletproof Windows. Get down on the ground. You should be able to see your back up there. Just off your 20. Welcome to my Golden Games, and welcome to another episode of Alice PDFR. This episode is actually subscriber requested. It's for the Secret Service in the armored Chevy Tahoe over here. Actually, Chevy Suburban, my bad. Uh, and this is my partner over here. It's actually the police partner mod by Dark Mirror. This is a different partner mod than I was using yet. Whoa, 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 what are you doing? Bitch, are you kidding me? Partner, she's trying to steal our truck. Get out of the truck now. What is going on? All right, I'm getting my taser out. Taser, taser, taser. What the heck was that? What? Okay, bitch, get on the ground. Secret Service, watch your hands. Police, Apparently, she, uh, her doing. jeans. Okay, she's trying to run still. Partner, help me out over here. Uh, apparently, my prongs in my taser didn't go through her uh, jeans there. All right, ma'am, get on the ground now. Watch it. Watch your hands. Get on the ground right now. Get on the ground. Let's go. Looks like you're bleeding there. Yeah, hit your face pretty bad there. I'm trying to steal my truck. Are you kidding me? Uh, my partner and I actually need to get going to the Los Santos International Airport. Uh, looks like we have an officer over here. All right, dispatch. Uh, we're going to need a transport for this person. So uh, we're actually going to be transporting a VIP. Come on, partner. Let's go. We're already late now. All right, let's try and get in here. So we are transporting. No, bitch. What are you doing? Okay, so we got to wait for the transport, I guess, to pick her up. But partner, come on. Get the heck in the passenger seat. Let's go. car and behave. All right, so this is my partner. Again, this guy's pretty new as well. And actually, this is my first Secret Service patrol. You know, I've done FBI patrols. You guys really like that. And then, you know, this is a subscriber request to do a Secret Service. So, okay, there's the transport unit. They're going around the block, really. All right, let me uh, go this way. All right, I'm going to put my lights on here. That way this transport unit can come and pick this person up. Right I'll turn my sirens off. Stupid All right, come on, let's go. Thank you, officer. All right, now we can finally get going to the international airport. Uh, I have not been given the details of who we're transporting. We'll be getting the details once we get there. But hopefully you guys will like this episode. Again, we're transporting in this armored Chevy Suburban. And the vehicle we're going to be having them in, their limo, is actually going to be a V12 Mercedes-Benz. It's pretty nice. So anyways, I'll see you guys when we get there. It's a, quite a bit of a drive, more than a mile and a half away. So I'll see you when we get there. We're at the airport, all set up. The convoy is ready to go. So we're going to be transporting Steve McAlone. Uh, he's the CEO of Benefactor. It's a car company in Grand Theft Auto. Uh, so we got an Armored Suburban and an Armored Suburban. For some reason, for the limo model, it says Armored Suburban. It's actually an Armored Mercedes. Not sure why it says Suburban. Anyways, we do not need a helicopter. And we'll validate it. And now they're going to... Okay, often buys crack to... Lo, often buys crack from the Los Santos gangs. What? Apparently this guy likes crack. It's cocaine. So, Okay. All right, let's get moving out. It looks like we're all set to go. He is in the vehicle. And hopefully they'll follow us. If it kind of glitches out on us, because it is... I, I don't know if it's still in beta or not, but this, sometimes the vehicles glitch out. So you press Shift-Y like that, and boom, resets them, fixes them, and we're ready to go. So hopefully, you know, this will go smoothly today. Uh, okay, you're not going to open the gate. Great. Great start to this patrol, but that's all right. Hopefully you guys will like this, by the way. If you do, please do hit that like button. Whoa, what? What are you doing? What the heck? Uh, what is going on? Why is he flooring it away from us? Sorry, he's a crap. What is going on? Um, dude? I have no idea what the heck's going on. This is crazy. Where are you guys going? Apparently, I'm no longer the lead in the convoy. All right, are you guys good? Okay, apparently they want us to go up here. So I will turn around up here. 
All right. Uh, shift Y. Okay. I found a great coffee shop that takes the Fleeka badge. Oh, that's good, partner. That's good. We're finally getting out of the airport now. Everything is on track. I don't know what was going on with them back there. Uh, it looks like they were trying to join a pursuit for some reason. Uh, I guess the guy really is trigger happy. He's, you know, just a CEO. He's not with law enforcement, so. Whoa! What the heck is that? Uh, boys, I just heard an explosion. We better keep moving this convoy. I'm gonna turn my lights on now. Come on, boys. Come on, come on. Keep, move out of our way. Jeez. I'm gonna put my sirens on here. Alright, there we go. Oh, shoot. We got shots fired. We got shots fired. Uh, I got a PDW over here. Who's shooting? Who's shooting? Who is shooting? I don't see what car is shooting here. Where are we getting shot from? Come on, move up, move up, move up. Coming through, coming through. This is Secret Service. Shoot, who is shooting? These guys, over here, these guys. These guys, we're going to need some additional units here. Ow, shoot, we're getting shot from behind. Damn it. We got multiple suspects this bitch. We got multiple suspects. Uh, we lost the driver of the vehicle, I believe. Shoot. Uh, I'm getting in the car. Partner, come on. Let's go. Get in. My partner's going to get in. We're going to take over as the driver for the VIP. Uh, we're going to ditch our squad car and just use this. Come on, partner. Get in. What the heck is my partner doing? Seriously? Get in. Okay, this is a huge pile up. I don't know why my partner's not getting in. So I'm gonna get us angled out of here. Shoot, get out of the way. Damn it, partner, what are you doing? I don't know what my partner's doing. Okay, get out of the way. Um, I don't know what the heck happened to this car, but it's smoking for some reason. But my partner is back there. He's gonna grab our vehicle. The Chevy Suburban. Damn, you alright, man? We're gonna get you out of there. Don't worry. Alright, uh, we're gonna get on the interstate now. We're gonna head north. We're on east on Interstate 4 Dispatch. We're gonna try and get this VIP as fast as we can to the location. We got hit back there. Huge pile up. I am separated from my partner, by the way. Uh, let's see how fast are we going. Hold one second, I'm looking at the road. Going about 125 miles an hour. Maybe 130. Uh, high risk level right now. We are code red right now. This is not good. We lost the driver of this vehicle that you saw back there. It was crazy. Hope you guys are liking this episode, by the way. Uh, I've been having really trouble getting this to work. This car, for some reason. I've been trying to get bulletproof glass windows and everything. And it hasn't been working good. Like, it seems like the windshield is bulletproof, but bullets still go through it. So I'm going to have to try and, you know, get it to work some more after this episode. But, all right, we're coming up to the location now. We're going to pull off to the side of the road here. And it looks like we're almost there. So it looks like we lost our tail. So that's good. Dispatch, I'm approaching the location now. Uh, there's one vehicle at the gate. Hey guys, coming through, VIP. Coming through, VIP, coming through, coming through! What is this guy doing? Seriously? Whoa! What was that? Uh, it looks like he's leaving now. Looks like we scared him away. Holy crap, I don't know what the heck that was. This car is trashed though. I mean, it's still holding together, but you can hear it rattling and stuff. That is not good. All right, come through. Thank you. Let's get through here. All right, looks like that was a pretty successful transport push through the gate. And I think we'll do one more because this one was a little iffy. We'll do one more transport and see how that one goes. Hopefully, you guys do like this episode, by the way. Right, let's pull up here. Do I need to pull up more? No, we're good. All right, man, come on. Let's go. I'll cover you. You get inside. Looks like, I wish that he would move a little faster, you know? The other thing is, you can't customize, like, who has, like, what types of weapons. Like, I saw one of the, you know, drivers of the cars had, like, a musket. It's like, come on. Let me edit their loadout so I can give them, like, M4s or PDWs, like, this weapon. But, 
you know, not a big deal. You know, it's still, I think, beta. All right, we're successfully transported the uh, VIP. Hopefully, you guys are liking this episode so far. I'm going to go get my partner, and we're going to go do another transport. Welcome back, guys. We are back at the airport. We got one more VIP transport. This time, it's Dave Thomas, a professional football player. And again, we're going to be transporting him in the armored Chevy Suburbans and along with the armored Mercedes the V12 by Turbo. All right, uh, we, we don't need a helicopter this time, I don't think, either. So we're going to validate it, and we'll wait for him to exit the private jet and get in the car. Uh, important popularity decrease last month. Ooh, he probably did something he shouldn't have, like, you know, sitting down during the national anthem, you know, something like that. I don't know, is that an actual football player? Let me know if you got, what the frick is going on? Yikes, I've never had this happen, or at least not in a long time. We're back, guys. I had to restart Grand Theft Auto and delete a few files on my desktop. I guess it was just taking up too much memory for some reason. So anyways, this convoy now is going to be for the VIP of Cameron Charles. He's the Department of Defense Secretary. Not sure if that's actually true or not, or was true or not. Uh, anyways, so we're, again, we're going to do the two armored Suburbans plus the armored Mercedes-Benz. And I do have another partner this time. So let's get on the road and see what happens. Uh, so we are going to the Arcadia Center, which is basically like the stadium. So we're going to head out. We do have a helicopter this time. What am I doing? I forgot to let him get in the car first. Whoops. I forgot he has to leave the plane and then get in the car. All right, so he's in the car now. And I'm just going to reset them so they're over here. And we're going to keep going on the road here. So hopefully you guys do like this episode. Uh, what is going on, guys? Jeez. Okay. All right, we are on the road. Hopefully this guy is going to open the gate for us. Are you going to open the gate for us? Dude, open open the gate. No? Okay. Okay. You're paying for it. I'm not paying for it. All right. So, again, we are Secret Service agents, and we're going to get out in the road here. And looks like we're going about a mile and a half, so not too far this time. Hopefully the car will actually follow the right direction this time. I don't know what was going on the previous time. But anyways, let's get over this way. Right. What was that? Are you kidding me? We're going to ignore that. I don't know if they're trying to attack us or not, but I knocked their asses out. Oh, man. This game is so beautiful, though. Look at the moon up there with the building. That just looks really cool. All right, so we're going to head this direction. We're going north on... New Empire, or North on Davis Avenue now, dispatch. Uh, actually, my GPS doesn't know which road I'm on, so that's all right. We'll stay close to the convoy. Come on, keep moving. We got a Jeep in front of us. We got two cars on the right here. Let's see. Hopefully, they're not going to try to attack us. We're going to be taking a left up here. All right, we'll just wait for the light to change. Let's see. So we got... What, what is this guy trying to do? Weasel his way in. Right, I'm going to back up and wait. So that way we don't get split up. All right, we're good to go now. The light is green. Come, Was it that fast? We don't have a turn arrow, really? This That's really uh, bogus. No turn arrow, or do we? I don't know what the heck's going on right now, guys. All right. Uh, so he's following us now. As I was saying, though, I've been trying to get this to work for like the last four or five hours now. It is really starting to irritate me. I mean, I got it working now, but for some reason with that car, the bulletproof glass doesn't work still. But I'm starting to get tired now, so let me know if you guys think this episode is starting to get a little boring now. I'm not quite sure what to say, you know. I've been working at this for so long, I'm getting just too tired now. All the coffee and everything's worn off. But anyways, you know, my partner and I are going to try our best to protect this person is the Secretary of Defense after all. Where is the helicopter? They're somewhere up there, but I don't see them. We should be good here. We're gonna wait for them to park. Uh, what I'm gonna do is just, boop. Did that not work, shift Y? Um, this should be working here. They're trying to find out how to park. Why is he all the way over there? Shoot, partner, come on, let's go. Let's make sure he doesn't get hit. Like that taxi almost hit him. Jeez. All right, come on, man. You doing all right, sir? All right. So, again, 
looks like we're doing pretty good we're the secret service we're protecting the secretary of defense all right mission success i think we'll do one more because this one was kind of boring nothing really happened what the heck is going on over there because the last transport was pretty slow nothing really happened we're going to do one more again it looks like we're transporting cameron charles department of defense secretary and we got him in an armored cognoscetti 55 which is kind of like a bentley i believe and then we got two unmarked chevy suburbans or no are those tahoes or suburbans all right here he comes he's going to get in the back of the car and then we'll start the patrol or the convoy all right, we're ready to go. We're transporting him to the golf club, it looks like. Dude, watch where you're going. Jeez. All right. So, hope you guys are liking this episode so far. It would be nice if you could do some more stuff in the settings of the, you know, mod files. Because it doesn't really give you much to work with. You know, you can't really change too much. You can set up, like, different vehicles and stuff. But you can't, you know, set up, you know, like I said before the AI's weapons and stuff like that. You can't really choose when to get attacked either. You know, maybe you can by doing a custom mission. I'm not actually sure. I haven't looked into that. That could be how you can, you know, set it up to get attacked more. The Daily Globe. I didn't realize there was a newspaper right there. All right. All right, let's keep going. It's a green light. Uh, partner, how are you doing? What are these cars doing cutting in like that, really? Come on, let's go. Whoa, we got shots fired. We got shots fired. Where, what, what, what's going on? Where are we getting shot from? Partner, we're getting shots fired. Uh, let me get my freaking Desert Eagle out, damn it. Where are we getting attacked from? This person right there. Shots fired, shots fired. Everybody all right? Whoa, we got multiple shots fired, multiple shots fired. Dispatch, we need additional units here. Shoot, they're still moving, they're still moving. Oh, where am I getting shot from? Shoot, we got a man down. Got a car across the road. I'm um, switching to my PDW. Tango's down. All right, are we clear? All right, let's get back in the car. Dude, get in the car and let's go. All right, where's my partner at? Oh, he's behind us. All right, come on, partner. All right, so there's the car. Where are you going? Is he just going to... Leave? Partner, come on, get in the car. Why is he glitching out like that? Okay. I'm gonna stitch my partner. It looks like he doesn't want us to stay there. Alright. Are, are, are you no longer following me as the lead? Okay, I don't know what's going on. It's really glitchy for some reason. I'm gonna try and take over as the driver of the vehicle. Dude, get out of the car. Seriously? Okay, that's not going to let me get in the car. Right, is he going to follow me now or no? Let's see. We got another officer there, so that's good. Right, uh, no, I don't want the freaking sirens on. There we go. All right. Uh, so it doesn't look like they're following me. Let me reset them and see. Are they going to follow me or no? Okay, they're like glitched out for some reason. All right, not sure what's going on. So what I'm gonna have to do, and it crashed. All right, so it actually didn't crash. It was the partner mod it was kind of glitching out. It should be fixed now. I took control of this vehicle. All right, so let's try and get in game now. Uh, we'll just ignore that guy. We're gonna try and get this guy transported because the driver of the vehicle is no longer able to drive this vehicle. Let's just get around this way coming through yeah there's a bullet hole straight through the windshield it's bulletproof glass but you know it can only take too many bullets i hope you guys are liking this episode even though it is a little glitchy today uh I just it's the bugs with this mod and then also the partner mod was kind of glitching out as well all right so let's pull up here all right come on man let's get you inside quick all right, looks like we have another successful transportation. All right, guys, we successfully transported him. Is that my partner over here? 
No, I don't think so. Okay. Alright guys, I'm going to leave this episode here. I'm not quite sure why it's glitching out so much, so I'm going to have to try and work on it. There might not really be anything I can do. Just, you know, the mod creators need to you know, just work on the mods, I guess. But hopefully you guys liked the episode nonetheless. Let me know what you thought. I really do want to hear from you. Have a great day and see you next time. Maybe consider subscribing. Thank you.